Sha 3, a subset of the cryptographic primitive family Kekik, is a cryptographic hash function designed by Guido Bertoni, Joan Demon, Michael Peters, and Giles Van Asher, building upon Radio Gatun. SHA-3 is a member of the Secure Hash algorithm family. The SHA-3 standard was released by NIST on August 5, 2015. History The Kekik algorithm is the work of Guido Bertoni, Joan Demon, Michael Peters, and Giles Van Asher. It is based on earlier hash function designs Panama and Radio Gatun. Panama was designed by Demon and Craig Clapp in 1998. Radio Gatun, a successor of Panama, was designed by Demon, Peters, and Van Asher, and was presented at the NIST Hash Workshop in 2006. In 2006 NIST started to organize the NIST Hash Function Competition to create new hash standard, SHA-3. SHA-3 is not meant to replace SHA-2, as no significant attack on SHA-2 has been demonstrated. Because of the successful attacks on MD5 and SHA-0 and theoretical attacks on SHA-1, NIST perceived a need for an alternative, dissimilar cryptographic hash, which became SHA-3. After a setup period, admissions were to be submitted by the end of 2008. Kekik was accepted as one of the 51 candidates. In July 2009, 14 algorithms were selected for the second round. Kekik advanced to the last round in December 2010. During the competition, entrants were permitted to tweak their algorithms to address issues that were discovered. Changes that have been made to Kekik are the number of rounds was increased from 12 plus to 12 plus 2 to be more conservative about security. The message padding was changed from a more complex scheme to the simple 10 asterisk 1 pattern described below. The rate R was increased to the security limit, rather than rounding down to the nearest power of 2. On October 2, 2012, Kekik was selected as the winner of the competition. In 2014, the NIST has published a draft FIPS 202, SHA-3 standard, permutation-based hash and extendable output functions. FIPS 202 was approved on August 5, 2015. On August 5, 2015 NIST announced that SHA-3 had become a hashing standard. Design SHA-3 uses the sponge construction, in which data is absorbed into the sponge, then the result is squeezed out. In the absorbing phase, message blocks are exited into a subset of the state, which is then transformed as a whole. In the squeeze phase, output blocks are read from the same subset of the state, alternated with state transformations. The size of the part written and read is called rate, and the part that is untouched by input output is called capacity. The capacity determines the security of the scheme. The maximum security level is half the capacity. In SHA-3, the state consists of a 5 times 5 array of 64-bit words, 1600 bits total. The authors claim 12.5 cycles per byte on an Intel Core 2 CPU. However, in hardware implementations, it is notably faster than all other finalists. Kekik's authors have proposed additional, not yet standardized uses for the function, including an authenticated encryption system and a 3 hash for faster hashing on certain architectures. Kekik is also defined for smaller power of two word sizes W down to one bit. Small state sizes can be used to test cryptanalytic attacks, and intermediate state sizes can be used in practical, lightweight applications. The block permutation. This is defined for any power of two word size, W equals two bits. The main SHA-3 submission uses 64-bit words, equals six. The state can be considered to be a 5 times 5 times W array of bits. Let A, I, J, K, B bit times W plus K of the input, using a little endian bit numbering convention and row major indexing, i.e., I selects the column, J the row, and K the bit. Index arithmetic is performed modulo 5 for the first two dimensions and modulo W for the third. 
The basic block permutation function consists of 12 plus 2 iterations of 5 subrounds, each individually very simple. Theta compute the parity of each of the 5 W5 bit columns, and exclusive or that into two nearby columns in a regular pattern. To be precise, A, I, J, K, A, I, J, K, parity, parity, row, bitwise rotate each of the 25 words by a different triangular number 0, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. To be precise, a 0, 0 is not rotated, and for all 0 t less than 24, a i j k a i j k minus 2, where Pi permute the 25 words in a fixed pattern. A, J, 2I plus 3J, A, I, J. Chi bitwise combine along rows, using a to be precise, A, I, J, K, A, I, J, K, A, I, J plus 1, K, and E, I, J plus 2, K. This is the only nonlinear operation in SHA-3. Iota exclusive or a round constant into one word of the state. To be precise, in round n, for 0 m, a 0, 0, 2 meters minus 1, is exclusive order with bit m plus 7 n of a degree 8 LFSR sequence. This breaks the symmetry that is preserved by the other subrounds. Hashing variable length messages. To ensure the message can be evenly divided into our bit blocks, padding is required. Kekik uses the pattern 10 asterisk 1, a 1 bit, 0 or more 0 bits, and a final 1 bit. The final 1 bit is required for the security proof to work for sponges of different rates, that is, different hash variants. Without it, different hash variants of the same short message would be the same up to truncation. To compute a hash, initialize the state to zero, pad the input, and break it into our bit pieces. Absorb the input into the state, that is, for each piece, XOR it into the state and then apply the block permutation. After the final block permutation, the desired number of bits is N squeezed. For the SHA-3 instances, R is always greater than N, thus there is never a need for additional block permutations in the squeezing phase. The leading N bits of the state are the desired hash. However, arbitrary output length may be useful in applications such as optimal asymmetric encryption padding. Instances The NIST standard defines the following instances. Kekik capacity is defined as the sponge construction using Kekik F 1600 capacity message M and output length D. Note that the appended postfix is a written as bit strings, not hexadecimal digits. The SHA3 instances are the drop-in replacements for SHA2 with identical security claims. Shake instances are so-called XOFs, extendable output functions. For example, SHAKE128 can be used as a hash function with 128-bit overall security. Note that all instances append some bits to the message. Since 10 asterisk 1 padding always adds at least 2 bits, in byte-aligned libraries we always have 6 unused 0 bits. Therefore, these appended extra bits never make the padded message longer. NIST announcement controversy in February 2013 at the RSA conference, and then in August 2013 at Chess, NIST announced they would select different values for the capacity, i.e., the security parameter, for the SHA-3 standard, compared to the submission. The changes caused some turmoil. In September 2013, Daniel J. Bernstein suggested on the NIST hash forum mailing list to strengthen the security to the 576-bit capacity that was originally proposed as the default Kekik. In late September, the Kekik team responded by stating that they proposed 128-bit security by setting C equals 256 is an option already in their SHA-3 proposal. However, in the light of the uproar in the cryptographic community, they proposed raising the capacity to 512 bits for all instances.
In early October 2013, Bruce Schneier criticized NIST's decision on the basis of its possible detrimental effects on the acceptance of the algorithm, saying there is too much mistrust in the air. NIST risks publishing an algorithm that no one will trust and no one will use. Paul Crowley, a senior developer at an independent software development company, expressed his support of the decision, saying that Kekak is supposed to be tunable and there is no reason for different security levels within one primitive. He also added, Yes, it's a bit of a shame for the competition that they demanded a certain security level for entrance, then went to publish a standard with a different one. But there's nothing that can be done to fix that now, except reopening the competition. Demanding that they stick to their mistake doesn't improve things for anyone. There was also some confusion that internal changes were made to Kekik. The Kekik team clarified this, stating that NIST's proposal for SHA-3 is a subset of the Kekik family for which one can generate test vectors using their reference code submitted to the contest, and that this proposal was the result of a series of discussions between them and the NIST hash team. Also, Bruce Schneier corrected his earlier statement, saying I misspoke when I wrote that NIST made internal changes to the algorithm. That was sloppy of me. The Kekuk permutation remains unchanged. What NIST proposed was reducing the hash function's capacity in the name of performance. One of Kekik's nice features is that it's highly tunable. In November 2013, in the light of the uproar in the cryptographic community, John Kelsey of NIST proposed to go back to the original C equals 2N proposal for all SHA-2 drop-in replacement instances. These changes were confirmed in the April 2014 draft. This proposal was implemented in the final release standard in August 2015. Examples of SHA-3 variants SHA-3-224-6B4-EO-342-36 SHA-3-224-6B4-EO-342-36 15454 F0-EB1-AB4-5-9-7-F9-A1-B0783-F5-B5-A6-B7-SHA-3-256-A7-FFC-6-F8-B-F1-AD7-665-1-C14-75-6-A0-61-D662-F5-B5-A6-B5-A
46 B 9 D D 2 B 0 bar 88 D 1 3 2 3 3 B 3 February 743 E B 243 F C D 52 each 62 B 81 B 82 B 50 C 2 7 6 4 6 Z 5762 F D 75 D C 4 D D D 8 C 0 F 200 C B 0 5 0 1 9 D 67 B 5 592 F6 FC 821 C4 9479 AB 48640292 EAC B3 B7 C4 B changing a single bit results in each bit in the output to change with 50% probability, demonstrating an avalanche effect. SHAKE 128 F4202 E3 C5852 F9182 A0430 FD8144 F0 A74 B95 E7417 E C A E17 decibel 0 F8 C F E D0 E3 E66 C S H A K E 128 853 F4538 B0 D Decibels 9621 A6 CEA 659 A06 C1107 B1 F83 F02 B13 D18297 BD39 D7411 CF10 C. Comparison of SHA functions. In the table below, internal state means the number of bits that are carried over to the next block. View. Talk. Edit.